In this video, I wanted to look at Decent Twitter. Um, so Decent Twitter is a decentralized Twitter, essentially. So all of these tweets are actually happening um, on the EOSIO blockchain, which I thought was a very, very cool project, very, very cool idea. Uh, I think kind of everyone's thought about doing something similar to this, uh, at least in the blockchain space. But even perhaps even more cool is the fact that this is what the smart contract looks like. This is not only the dot, this is not a dot HPP, let's be clear about that. This is the implementation for the smart contract. This is actually what's on the blockchain. There are actually no implementations for these methods. Um, so I, I think what he's doing, so obviously he's not storing anything in RAM here. And yet uh, these, these um, tweets are still showing up on the client side. Um, so I did like a, a very brief bit of digging on you know how, how he goes about doing this. I think he's also the same developer who um, does the austracker.io, which is a real-time um, uh, blockchain scanner essentially. So uh, you can check you know who's who's uh, producing blocks, what the transactions look like. You know it's, it's essentially EtherScan for uh, the EOS blockchain. Uh, so what he does is he hits the this EOS tra tracker API that that he, I'm sure he's highly familiar with in order to get the transactions that of people essentially tweeting on 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 this this uh, smart contract. Um, I, I believe he's doing that by using the database plugins. So uh, we've talked briefly about how how. Uh, EOS doesn't have events. It doesn't have support for events like um, Ethereum does. So what you have to do is you have to roll your own database plugin, whereby you're just constantly pulling the the blockchain, looking for specific transactions, and then you know alerting your users when those transactions happen. So I believe he's either he's got that going on here with the EOS Tracker IO, or it's somewhere in the uh, Decent Twitter, and I, I believe it's here in the EOS Tracker. So all he does is he just He's pulling the blockchain continuously, looking for any sort of tweets, uh, or messages, or replies, or avatar changes, or all these other things that you'd want to do on Decent Twitter. He's pulling for those using the EOS Tracker.io, and then on the front end, all he's doing is he's hitting his uh, EOS Tracker API in order to get the tweets, uh, allow you to tweet things, and uh, all that other stuff. So there's a lot of client-side kind of magic going on here. And that uh, eliminates the need for a highly complex smart contract. Uh, again, like I, when I when he, I saw this smart contract after checking out Decent Twitter, I was like, "There's no way that's the implementation." But uh, sure enough. Anyway, I, I just wanted to show you that, like, really, you don't need to do so much on the blockchain. Everyone's trying to store so much data, and and I don't know if that's because like there's all this hype around the blockchain. People think that everything has to go on the blockchain, but really. In this case, you know, all he's done is sent transactions of the blockchain, and he's able to build a decentralized Twitter by doing that. Uh, very, very awesome project, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, definitely check it out. Uh, poke around his Angular code and uh, see if you can uh, glean some very, very good practices, I think. Um, anyway, see you in the next video.